Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, <laughs> Monday, August 5th. We're waking up literally at 4 a.m. to go to Trestles. I like to surf in the morning, not usually this early, but the only reason why is because the place we're going to can get really crowded, especially this week being the US Open. The athletes train, so in order to not get in the athlete's way, we're going at 4 a.m. I think I'm gonna bring a coffee for the road, a plum as well that's a snack by the way i am not complaining though even though it's early i am so grateful and blessed that this is my job i really do appreciate every single one of you guys that's literally how i am able to make this happen thank you i literally don't know how i got here without you guys okay so i just got to the trestles parking lot i drove for an hour now i'm gonna set up my e-bike to bike for another like 15 minutes to get to the surf break so it's definitely a long journey and i get a lot of questions asking why do you do this like and why do you do it so often and the short answer is it's summertime in california surf break i live at basically has no waves because catalina island blocks south swell and summertime is where south swell happens so yeah basically i'm a meteorologist and the only place that really has predictable wave is basically trestles right if you're wondering what the path looks like to trestles it's like this Bleh. So I basically haul my bike on the cement part, but on the dirt part, I literally, I have to drag it. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I have to drag it through this mud. It's literally 6 a.m. now. Let's count how many bikes there already are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 bikes. So I'm telling you. We're not the only ones here. Um, but today I'm going to show you guys what I do to get ready because I just realized I've been neglecting YouTube, but YouTube's been popping off. So thanks so much for the support. I feel like so stupid right now. Thank God there's no one right now getting ready in the bike because if the girls were watching me, I would get bullied. So the first thing I do, I use my surf banana. Thank you, surf banana, to put my wetsuit on. Have you used one of these before? I have not. I've used a variation. You use the plastic bag. Yeah. I like this one. It's just really cute because watch this guys, watch this guy. Yeah. Oh, it's a banana. <laughs> I think that's so sick. Also, I am wearing Matus today, even though later today I'm going to shoot for another wetsuit brand. The only reason why <laughs> is because I want to keep my other wetsuit dry, but a lot of people comment on my videos like which wetsuit do you prefer between the Rip Curl, Flash Bomb, Matus, 4.3, and other smaller brands and genuinely my warmest wetsuit is my Rip Curl but the best quality is probably Matus and my favorite like new upcoming brand is probably Blue Hour which I'm shooting for. Yeah that's my Jade's review. Okay Ryan what are we working on today? Today using your core and torso and like your head to initiate and like follow through on the turn and staying really compressed like you want to be able to use your hand when you do your like your wrap that's enough for today <laughs> you know what guys yesterday i went to the gym because ryan says i'm not using my core enough and let me just say my core now is engaged i am in pain <laughs> but that's good i actually will link below the workouts i do if you guys are curious not sponsored it's called surf ready fitness i just like it because i feel like a lot of surf workouts are like hard to follow but the app makes it pretty easy but you know what's funny the people that train at surf ready fitness guess who it is okay now we can cut this out why don't i say it so high pitch you know what's so funny this week guess who, who's gonna be competing who's competing at us open yeah finally got my board back if you guys didn't know i dinged it in hawaii pretty bad but Let's see it now. Oh, what the actual <laughs> That is strange behavior. What the actual f I don't know if you guys can see, but like, <laughs> I'm gonna have to attach a, f a photo of this, but like basically the fiberglass is over top the ding. They didn't fill the ding. Is that weird? Yes. That's really strange. Okay, I'm not gonna link below who repaired this, but I will need to repaint this because this looks insane. You guys are probably watching like, it doesn't look that bad, but it just, 
I've seen good repairs, and if you think good repairs, it doesn't look like this. Also, surfers. A lot of people comment below that my fins aren't like the best setup for like more fluid turns. So comment below what I should get. This is the FCS 2 Large Thruster by Machado from SCS. Is large? What? You do larges? Yeah, why? Why? Is that not supposed to be? Okay, I don't know this, Ryan! Should have asked me. Okay, well, comment below, Ryan. Should have asked me. <laughs> what? I don't know, Ryan! Oh Are these too big? Wait, yes, actually. Tiny. Oh. Who's tiny? Me? You! Oh, thanks, I'm skinny! I don't know, Ryan. Someone gonna, someone's gonna literally clip this and be like, see, why does she have surfboard welter? She doesn't even know the fin size. Also, guys, I'm aware of the Reddit. Just letting you guys know, I'm aware. And I know it's one of y'all. No, not all of y'all. It's never the cute surfer girls and those polite dads who say, Jade, I like your videos. It's always the one guy. Jerry72 that's like, uh, she doesn't even know how to put her fins in. Well, look at me now. Oh, yeah, look at me. Look at me now. Oh, of course it's this fin. This one is actually kind of tough. <laughs> oh my god. Put some wax on and then we're ready to go. Small but fun, looking at the footage, I'm a little wobbly in the beginning, I think towards the end I just figured out where to put my feet and we had to cut the session short today because I have to be somewhere, but if I maybe were to go longer I think I could have gone something. Everyone's staring at me. Also guys, I, you know how I said like it's always the Jerry's that like comment mean things. I met a Jerry in the water, he literally goes up to me guys, he goes, Konnichiwa. And I go, huh? He goes, are you Japanese? And I go, no. And the crazy thing is that we've had this conversation before in the water two months ago. And then he was like, yeah, like, you look so like different and exotic. Like, where are you from? Like, Jerry, we literally had this conversation like two months ago. I am not a spectacle at Trestles. So anyways, I can't believe it's actually real. But anyways, we're gonna go to the coffee shop and look at the footage. Now at our favorite coffee shop, Zebra House. Also, it's pronounced Zebra, not Zebra. <laughs> Fight me in the comments. Cause how would you pronounce Debra? Debra, not Debra. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, we said this like a 20 times at this point. But you, you gotta credit Trevor Tr Noah. That's it. Sorry, this is not my joke. Usually by this time we do some video analysis. Did I get any go waves? I'm kind of a little nervous oh, wow. actually. Yeah. I'm a little sad. It was a pretty mid session. I agree though. You did. You got it going the second half as usual. As usual. I just but didn't. We were short on time. time. Usually I serve for two hours, two to three hours. Today we only had like an hour and a half, and usually I get to go in by like the last 45 minutes. <laughs> so, uh, that's just how the cookie crumbles. Okay, but the way today were mid, too. Yeah, they were... They were mid. The tide was low. This, it's just like maybe take a high, they had no speed. Yeah. Like, sometimes, if you don't have speed, you need to generate the speed. Mm. And then do a maneuver. Yeah. Alright, so we just finished video analysis at the coffee shop. Now I'm going to a photo shoot with... Blue Hour, which is a which is a surfwear brand. I kind of need to poop. <gasps> ah, this is the worst thing is when you have to do something and you need to go to the bathroom. Like that's the worst feeling. But I literally have to leave now, or else I'm not gonna make the shoot. So I'm kind of in a predicament. Ah, you really need to go to the bathroom, but my shoot is in ten minutes. So sometimes we don't have the luxury to go to the bathroom. The weather is fantastic today. I'm changing into my first look for a blue hour. So this always happens to me. I have issues going to the bathroom, but the most inconvenient times is when I need to go. Like this is, this is the story of my life. A lot of you guys ask, well not a lot, but I have seen comments of you guys asking my makeup routine. Okay, so first I wash my hands with this wet wipe. And I'm gonna apply sunscreen because we're shooting in the sun. I'm using the Dune Sun Care sunscreen. It's really nice because it's not sticky. I basically use this foundation as my concealer and I just put it like this and I literally just tap it onto the blemishes I want to cover up 
I have this brush. It's kind of dirty. Fine. Um, I'm gonna use this blush to blend it out. Next step is Nude Sticks blush. I really need to get going. I should not be filming this right now. I'm gonna kick this up a notch. Uh, I really like this blush because it blends so quick and I think it looks really natural in photos. Oh, brows, I just do a quick little flick right here. I really just only do the bottom of my brows because I feel like the rest of my brows are kind of full. You just kind of comb it through. If you ever see me out and about and you're wondering what I'm wearing, this is what I'm using. It looks really crazy, but then you blend it out. I don't have time for eyeshadow. <laughs> So we're just gonna go as is. Maybe we'll put some mascara, but let's go. Okay guys, I'm here with Sin. We just shot for Blue Hour. How did the shoot go? Dude, the shoot was so cold. <laughs> Shaking like a. <laughs> thank God I'm in the score three. We got the shots though. You think so? Yeah, we got the shots. It's all that matters. Let's go. So, one thing about being a surfer yeah. is we have a shower <laughs> in the side of our car. It's like a child. You know, like when you're so tired, you're not even tired, you're like in a state of delusion. <laughs> That's me right now. I just got home from the shoot. And I took a shower and I'm not even tired, but it's like 5 p.m. And I've been awake for over 12 hours already. So if you guys don't know, one of my most viral videos on this channel is me waxing my surfboard. And I've been using a bunch of different wax, but you guys, huge, huge news. We have a wax sponsor. Um, I've used Sister Buddy's wax before, uh, before they even sent me this. So I do know I love their wax. <gasps> I love this packaging. Jade, so stoked to get you some wax for your summer surf adventure. Epic to see how inspiring you are. Hope you enjoy you. We have an assortment of wax, literally so fun. So if you guys don't know, there's different wax for different temperatures of water. So right now in California, the water is 65. So I'll be using this one, which is cool banana. So it's a little bit warmer. This one, oof. That smells so good. I'm literally so delusional. I thought it'd be funny to answer some of your guys' questions that you guys ask me on Instagram because I have no idea what I'm gonna say and by the time I edit it, I'm gonna regret probably everything. Also, if you haven't already, comment below something because I pick a comment winner every time I post a YouTube video and I usually put it at the end of my vlogs, but I'm gonna put it in the middle. So shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. My friend CJ asks me, when are you going to surf Tiopu or Tiohopu? Tiohopu? Um, Tiopu is where the Olympic wave is hosted, which is like one of the most deadly waves. I honestly would surf Tiohopu on a small day, like like most deadly waves I would surf on a small day. If it's pumping Tiohopu, I think I'm going to die. So maybe my goal is in the next like five years. I don't know, but I do want to surf it one day. For sure. How much planning went into getting your first sponsorship and how long did it take you? I do social media full time and the main way I make income is with sponsorships, which I'm so grateful for. Thank you, God. To be honest, getting sponsors, I genuinely believe, is something that you don't work on. You just do your craft and they'll come to you. I know a lot of people, and even me at one point, I'm like, you should reach out to brands. You should do this outreach. No, I don't think it's worth your time unless you want to make a little bit of money but to make full-time income like the big brand deals i'm talking about they have to come to you a lot of my bigger deals like i did a campaign with lululemon last month google i would never imagine me getting these deals and a lot of them just come through my tiktok other person asked me what were you doing before surfing content and that kind of goes into my experience so i worked in marketing i ran an agency doing social media for brands so i have a lot of experience with like, content marketing so a lot of those skills transfer. These are not spicy questions. I want something strange, but maybe I'll regret that. Uh, someone asks, are you single? Good question. I am not single. I have a boyfriend and we live together in LA. I don't really talk about him on my channel just because I've seen people make content about their significant other and it going horribly. Like when, I think when you put something so intimate into the public lens, you have so much room for people to talk negatively about your own relationship, which I don't want, but I do have a boyfriend. And we love him. He's such a good boyfriend. Because <laughs> I had some trash boyfriends in the past. If you guys haven't seen my like 
dating story time videos I'll link it below when I was in my single era because I've dated some trash men before anyways people are asking what kind of surfboard do you have and what are your dimensions so my surfboard um, is by crescent shapes and he made me my custom board which is super sick if you guys want a board by him check him out in the Instagram and let him know that Jade sent you 58 shortboard shake and bake model 31 liters and it's amazing I really love it and Greg um, who is the guy who shapes my boards is super thoughtful in his boards he just thinks about like the person he's making it for so i really really recommend it okay how long am i talking for oh my god six minutes okay we'll do two more questions okay and if you guys like this q a style let me know and i'll do more of this i just thought i'm literally so delusional it would be funny oh my gosh okay someone asked why is there a reddit thread hating on you i kind of joked about this in this vlog earlier but <laughs> i am aware of the reddit thread that kind of recently surfaced and um uh, to be honest like the first 24 hours of me like going through reddit was really hard because like i personally have never dealt with something like this like i've had hate comments before but i've never had a thread and um i'm 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 literally just a girl i'm human so like it hurts obviously but i also realize like it's a part of what i do like i make content online so like anyone is susceptible to give me feedback or negative feedback so some people I do know defend me, which is super sweet. And I have I have people that don't like my content, which is totally okay. If you just don't like my content, you probably shouldn't watch. And that's the crazy thing is some people don't like my content, but watch every single video, which to me, I have never in my life. Well, if I hate someone, I, I, like, I love to gossip with my friends, but I'll never leave a hate comment or let alone start a Reddit thread about them. So to be honest, I think that's a little fan behavior <laughs> to like make a whole ass thread. Like... Get off my dick. Okay, last question. How long did it take to switch to shortboarding and which one do you prefer? This is gonna be Spicy Jade coming out, but I personally just don't like longboarding. <laughs> me saying that right behind my old longboard. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna be honest. I don't like longboarding for me, personally. I think if other people do it, it's sick, but for me, I'm just like, I look stupid as hell.